what we wear has a big impact on our planet because the fashion industry is one of the biggest polluters worldwide. But we can make a difference by choosing sustainable materials for our clothes. In this video I will be sharing over 40 different sustainable materials that are perfect for your wardrobe. And they range from plant-based materials to innovative materials to help you make a better choice for your clothes. But what makes a fabric sustainable? Several factors contribute to making a fabric sustainable. Firstly, it must be renewable and responsibly managed. This means that the fabric comes from plants that are not overly treated with chemicals or animals that have not been over exploited. Additionally, the production process should minimize waste, energy usage and water usage and use non-toxic dyes to dye their fabrics. The fabric should be durable and have a long lifespan and at the end of its life cycle it should be biodegradable or recyclable. And it shouldn't contribute to microfiber pollution. And lastly, fair labor practices and animal welfare should be prioritized throughout the supply chain. Let's start off with plant-based fabric and the first one is organic cotton. It comes from the cotton plant, it is very popular, it's sturdy, it is soft, it's one of the most used fabrics around the world. But make sure you really choose organic cotton because regular cotton is produced with a lot of water and a lot of pesticides and fertilizers that are harming our planet. Recycled cotton is the next fabric. This one is made from pre and post consumer cotton waste. Recycled cotton is produced by collecting all the scraps, cutting them up and then spinning them into new yarn. This type of cotton has a very low environmental impact because it doesn't require a lot of energy and it prevents textiles from ending up in landfills while recycled cotton is just as comfortable to wear as regular cotton. Bamboo. Bamboo is made from the fibers of bamboo stalks. It's not only very comfortable to wear, it's also very sustainable. Because bamboo doesn't need a lot of water, fertilizers or pesticides to grow. But please avoid bamboo viscose because the production of bamboo viscose is highly polluting. Hemp. Hemp has been around for centuries. It has been used to make clothing, but also ropes, sails, stuff like that. It's made from the fibers of a hemp plant and it is known for its sturdiness and breathability. The plant is easy to grow, doesn't need a lot of water or fertilizers or pesticides, making it a very sustainable crop. Hemp is used for a wide range of products, including home goods, clothing, but it's also used for paper. Linen. Linen has also been around for a very long time. The fabric is known to be breathable, durable and has a natural shine. Linen is made from the fibers of a flux plant, which are spun into a yarn to create a gorgeous fabric. It's used for products like clothing, bedding and home decor. It's a very sustainable material because flux plants don't have a lot of requirements and are easy to grow. Jute. Jute is known for its durability, strength and affordability. The fabric is made from fibers of the jute plant that are extracted and turned into a yarn, which is then woven into a wide range of products like bags, sacks, carpets and textiles. Remy. Remy is a natural material that is often compared to linen because it has a similar luxurious feel. The fabric is made from the stems of a Remy plant which involves the extraction of the long fibers that can be spun into a yarn. Remy plants don't need a lot of pesticides or fertilizers for production and is completely biodegradable at the end of its life cycle. Cork. Cork is made from the bark of an oak cork tree that is harvested without harming the plant. And this slowly regenerates over time. This makes cork one of the most sustainable materials available nowadays. And it is used in a wide array of products like flooring, isolation, but also fashion accessories. Nettle is another very old fashioned fabric that has been around for decades, centuries even. Nettle comes from the fibrous stem of the stinging nettle plant and these are harvested and spun into a yarn. And because this process doesn't need a lot of chemicals and nettle grows about everywhere, 
it's also a very sustainable fabric. Nettle is naturally strong and very resilient, making it great for products like home decor and clothing. Raffia. Raffia comes from the leaves of the raffia palm tree. It involves the extraction of the fibers that are then processed into long strong strands that can be used for weaving. Raffia is used for hats, bags, baskets and furniture. Animal based fabrics. Whenever you choose an animal based fabric, always make sure you purchase from a supplier that prioritizes animal welfare. First one is sheep wool. Wool is a versatile fabric that has been around for centuries for clothing, blankets and other textiles. It's obtained from shearing domestic sheep and is then turned into a yarn. Wool is a natural insulator that is perfect for cool weathers while also being breathable and moisture wicking. Wool is a renewable resource as sheep regrow their wool annually. But always make sure you purchase wool from farmers who prioritize animal welfare, sustainable farming practices, land stewardship and minimize the environmental impact. Next is merino wool. This also comes from sheep but from a different breed, not brand, breed of sheep, the merino sheep. Merino sheep are mostly raised in Australia and New Zealand and just like regular wool, merino wool is insulating temperature regulating and sustainable because it is renewable and recyclable. Next one is yak wool. This is a type of wool that comes from, you guessed it, yak. And they primarily live in the Himalayas. Their wool is harvested by combing their fur during molting season. And afterward their fur is spun into a yarn. Yak wool is moisture wicking, hypoallergenic and naturally odor resistant. Alpaca wool is another sustainable, luxurious fabric. It comes from alpacas and is known for their incredible softness. Alpaca wool is also hypoallergenic and lightweight. But unlike other types of wool, alpaca wool is naturally lanoline free, meaning it doesn't need a lot of chemicals to clean it before it can be turned into a fabric. Cashmere is another very sought after sustainable fabric that is known for its softness and lightweight feel on the skin. It's made from the undercoat of cashmere goats that is combed and collected and processed into a yarn. While a cashmere fiber is a natural fiber that is biodegradable, sustainability is often questionable due to the high demand. Camel wool comes from the hairs of the soft underbelly of a camel. It is known for its exceptional warmth, breathability and lightweight. Camel fur is collected during molting season when they naturally shed their coat. Then this fur is cleaned so it can be processed into a yarn. Silk is another fabric that has been around for centuries. It comes from the cocoon of silkworms which are carefully cultivated and they can then process these long luxurious fibers and then turn them into a yarn to make your clothes. Even though silk is known as a very luxurious fabric, it can also be very sustainable because it doesn't need a lot of water or energy during production and it is renewable, making it much more eco-friendly compared to a lot of other fabrics. Down. Down is a known insulator as it is often used in bedding, but it's also used in clothing. Down comes from the underbelly of geese and ducks where the feathers are the softest. It's often a byproduct of slaughtered birds, but it can also be collected during molting season of the birds. While down is a natural and renewable material, practices to obtain down have a lot of controversy and are known to be inhumane. So if you go for something that is made with down, make sure the producer uses ethical methods for harvesting. Upcycled leather. Upcycled leather is a sustainable material that comes from discarded leather scraps or leftovers from manufacturing processes. Instead of throwing the scraps in landfills, the material is again sorted, cleaned and repurposed into new products. Items like bags, shoes and other fashion accessories can be made with upcycled leather. Because of its unique pattern, you are sure to have a unique piece because not all scraps are the same. 
Next are semi-synthetic fabrics. And I don't mean that there are uh, petroleum-based fabrics involved. In this case, I mean that there is a little bit more processing to create the fabrics. Not that there are synthetic fabrics involved, just to be clear. The first fabric is tensile. Tensile is made from wood pulp. It's a unique mix of strength and softness, and it's produced in a closed loop production process. And this minimizes waste and the environmental impact. It's a very sustainable material because you don't need a lot of energy and water to produce this fabric. And this type of fabric can often be found in clothing, bedding, but also in furniture. Models the next fabric. This is made from the wood pulp of beech trees. It is also produced in a closed loop system and it recycles up to 95% of the water and chemicals used during production. And the resulting fabric is extremely soft and drapes beautifully, making it an ideal fabric for clothing, bedding and other home textiles. Ecovero is the next fabric. It is made from sustainably sourced wood pulp, usually from trees like eucalyptus, breech and pine. The cellulose fibers that are needed to produce the yarn are extracted using a closed loop production system that reduces the use for water and chemicals and it creates an extremely smooth and soft fabric. Pina yarn. Pina yarn is made, you guessed it, from pineapple leaves. And these leaves are harvested, cleaned and processed so a fiber can be extracted and spun into a yarn. The resulting fabric is extremely soft and another great benefit of pine yarn is that it is made from a byproduct of the pineapple industry. Pinatex is another fabric that is made from pineapple leaves. In this case, leaves are harvested and the fibers are turned into a non-woven material that is kind of leather-like. And this material is not only eco-friendly, it's also completely cruelty-free because there were no animals involved. Just like Pina yarn, Pinatex doesn't need a lot of energy or water for production and it helps local farmers in the Philippines where most of the pineapples are produced with a little bit of extra income from their products. Banana Tex is a textile made from banana leaves. Banana Tex is a fiber that is made from banana plants. In this case, the plants harvested and fibers are extracted and can be spun into a yarn, creating a very resilient fabric that is known for its durability while remaining lightweight. Escafé is a fabric that combines performance with sustainability. It is made from used up coffee grounds, meaning it has a natural odor fighting abilities while also being UV protectant and fast drying. To produce this type of fabric, Coffee oil is extracted from the coffee grounds, which is then integrated into a yarn. Not only does this process divert waste from ending up in landfills, but it also reduces the use of virgin polyester, making it a very sustainable choice for active wear. Apple leather is made from apple cores that are left over from the apple juice industry. Apple leather is a new sustainable material that is a great alternative to traditional leather. It is made from apple peels and cores that are leftovers from the apple juice industry. This material is created by turning all these peels and cores into a pulp and then a few plant-based ingredients are added to turn this mush into a leather-like fabric. And the resulting material is both eco-friendly, durable and water resistant, making it a great alternative to leather. Citrus fiber. This is made from leftovers from the citrus industry that would otherwise have been gone to waste. A patented process is used to turn all these peels into a yarn that resembles silk or viscose. The entire process doesn't require a lot of water or energy, making it a very sustainable fabric. While also being amazing, because it reduces the amount of trash that would otherwise have ended up in landfills. Mycelium leather, or mushroom leather, fungal leather, whatever you wanna call it, it's a material made from the mycelia of fungi. 
These are grown in a controlled environment on agricultural waste or other plant-based materials as a substrate. As fungi grow, the vegetative part, the mycelium, forms a network of fibers that is afterwards uh, processed into a leather-like material. And this fabric not only is very sustainable because it's biodegradable, it also is very water and energy efficient. Wuka is a blend of wool with coconut fibers. And the resulting fabric has quite a unique texture that is both breathable and durable. And the process of making this type of fabric involves shredding the husk of the coconut and blending them with wool fibers to create a soft and lightweight fabric. This fabric is biodegradable and this whole process doesn't require a lot of energy and water, which means it is a very eco-friendly material. Q-Milk is an eco-friendly and versatile fabric made from excess milk that would otherwise have been thrown away. It involves the extraction of milk protein um, from the milk. The production process of this fabric is entirely sustainable as it doesn't harm the environment. Q-Milk is a fabric that is hypoallergenic, eco-friendly and moisture wicking, making it great for a wide array of clothing items. Cumonos is a fabric that is produced through spider silk proteins that are produced using biotechnology. This is an eco-friendly process that doesn't harm any animals and is a prime example how biotechnology can be involved in the production of sustainable fabrics. Brood protein is a fabric that is made with fermented yeast. This fabric is created by brewing yeast cells and then the proteins are extracted to be turned into a yarn. The resulting fabric is both soft and durable and has a similar feel to silk. Bambor is a combination of organic cotton with bamboo rayon that is both soft and durable and its natural antibacterial properties make it great for a wide array of products. Vitadillen is a patented tensile fabric made from wood pulp, zinc and seaweed powder. It contains minerals and vitamins from seaweed including natural sea vitamins and skin nourishing zinc. It has been dermatologically tested and it uses up to 97% less water compared to cotton. And the last semi-synthetic material on this list is rosebush fabric. It is made from the stems of the rosebush plant of which the fibers are used to create a fabric. This fabric is usually mixed with cotton and the resulting fabric has 20 to 40 percent rosebush fibers. And the last fabrics on this list are completely synthetic fibers. The first one is Econil. This fabric is made from recycled materials like fishnets or carpet fibers that is then transformed into a high quality nylon yarn. And this process not only diverts plastic ending up in oceans, it also reduces the amount of fossil fuels that are needed for regular nylon production. Econil can be found in items like swimwear or activewear. Another great benefit of Econil is that it can be endlessly regenerated. This means this type of fabric has a closed loop system making it an ideal solution for the whole fashion industry pollution problem. Reprieve is made from recycled plastic bottles. In this case, post-consumer plastic bottles are turned into a polyester yarn, which can be used in a wide array of clothing items or accessories. And this type of fabric not only reduces textile waste, it also reduces the emission of greenhouse gases and conserves water. Recycled polyester. This is made from post-consumer plastic bottles and other types of plastic waste. In this case, all the plastic items are collected and cleaned and turned into pellets. And these pellets are then turned into a yarn. This method not only diverts plastic waste from landfills, it also reduces the demand for petroleum-based polyester fabrics. And the last fiber on this list is dead stock fiber. This type of fiber is excess fabric from textile mills and manufacturers that would otherwise have ended up in landfills. 
This material is then repurposed and transformed into new garments, making it a very eco-friendly choice for fashion items. From plant-based fabrics like cotton and bamboo to animal fibers like wool, but also synthetic fibers. By using dead stock fibers, designers can reduce waste, reduce their carbon footprint and produce unique fashion items. And this whole process is not only sustainable, but also creates an opportunity for designers to be creative with what they have. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please check out this video as well.